Most people believe in extraterrestrials. The government did not stop studying UFOs. What are they afraid of? I think they're afraid of weaponization. They admit it. There are unknown aerial objects with advanced technology. You're in a different world. I'm very optimistic. I don't even know that. Hey, look, and we don't even know that. They put it in your mind. That's predictive programming. Uh, so why they programming a human computer? They trying to lock us up in our cells. That's why they put you in the fucking cell to physically manipulate your cell and your structure. Hey, so look at my structure. Cause without an effort, then you can never have a structure. You ain't get the message cause you sour just like mustard. Want some ketchup? You need the tomato and ketchup. Uh, a boom bat beat to let you know. This another Joe is radio on a different boat. Uh, and I keep hearing horns. That's a C sound. I said I bought this like I'm profound. And I don't even need a pronoun. Cause I'm a pronoun. I say I know this like I'm profound. What a complex apartment's complex just like that. They don't know the words of the farms get back. Every time I look up in the sky, I see another helicopter. They just wait for the days to lock us up and put us in the days. This is like now. Yeah, that's why we in the days. That's why the days is getting shorter. Look, shorter every day. Look, every day is just a new day for your mental. Everybody raise the fuck up and go mental. A loco. And I ain't talking about no cocoa. Cause you not cuckoo for cocoa puffs. It's just another radio. Like radio. Just say it two more times. Yeah, like radio. Yeah, like radio. What it do, YouTube slash Patreon today's video. I want to talk about these demons have to spill large, large, large amounts of blood to please Satan. Yes. These demonic entities, you know, can't say no names because they'll snatch the channel down instantly. But you know who I'm talking about, high-level Nazi criminals. These entities have to spill large amounts of blood to please Satan. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, rest in peace to Andre Harrell. Um, and there were some other people that just passed away recently, too. Rest in peace to them as well. And rest in peace to all the other people we don't even hear about. You see what I'm saying? Um, now, I'm not going to turn this to a blood sacrifice video. Because if I do, I'm probably going to... I'm going to put this video on, um, on Patreon anyway. Because I know they're probably going to snatch it down. You know, these insectilians that like the flag. <laughs> you better off playing capture the flag. Don't let me see what that flag was cracking. Now, that's funny. But, um... So, I'm not going to turn this to a blood sacrifice video, but uh, if you're on the frequency I'm on, you already know what time it is. They have to spill large amounts of blood. So, let me give you an example, because most people think, oh, you have to do this to do a blood sacrifice. You have to do this. You got to be this cool with this person. You got to do this, this, and that. So, listen, listen, listen. Blah, 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 blah. You do not necessarily have to be close to a person to give, to give them up as a blood sacrifice. What that mean? I'm going to break it down for you right now. When Obama, that entity, that entity, Obama, right? When he was president of the corporation Amorica, right? When he was the president of the corporation, a.k.a. the face of the corporation, his sacrifice to Satan was melanated people of America. Obama went to war with so many countries, spilled so many, so much blood around the world and in America to please Satan. That's why he got hit with a Nobel Peace Prize and he did absolutely nothing. That's why he legalized homosexuality and bestiality. But wait, 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 wait. These demonic entities can't do all that evil without doing some good. The only thing I can say about Obama that he did good, he um he put the Moors back on back on uh back 
become a man, right? He put the Moors back on the map by telling people our true identity. He didn't say Hebrew, he said Moors. They give you a hint. You see what I'm saying? They give you a hint, I re-uploaded that video. They're not gonna, these satanic demons can't do that much evil without giving you some type of good or giving you a hint or giving you some type of truth. Rahm Emanuel, he was a part of Obama's administration. He put it back, he put the, the proclamation of the Moors back on the map or whatever names you want to go by. You see what I'm saying? Real shit. Because it's the, we are descendants of these people. So we go by different names. Like for example, the Mayans, when they had children, their children wasn't called the Mayans. Let's say, I, I'm not sure what they was called, but let's say for example, let's say for example, right? Before you get your panties in a bunch. Let's say for example, that the Mayans kids was the Aztecs. They was descendants from the Mayans, but they go by different names. We descendants from the Moors, go by different names. Like, people, that's the, it's the same bloodline. They just went by a different name. Like, you know what I'm saying? The identity doesn't change. It's the same identity. We're descendants. We're not going to call ourselves the same thing. You see what I'm saying? But that title more is for basically to represent a whole tree of people around the world. A more is a natural divine being by nature. When you speak on a certain group of people, like for example, I said, if you're if you're in Africa, you're African. You know what I'm saying? If you're in Jamaica, you're Jamaican. If you're in Korea, you're Korean. If you're in America, you're black. No, America is Hebrews. The natives in America, we are Hebrews, right? But the classifier ancestors that came before us, they were Moors, original divine beings by nature. So we are descendants of these entities, right? Stolen people on the stolen land. That's a fact. Rahm Emanuel put this information out when he released that proclamation. You see what I'm saying? We we came from um we actually well our ancestors they got it they got granted access from the ancient pharaohs. Right? Of uh some people want to say Egypt is not Egypt. That shit came later. It's Kemet. Kemet, motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? And they got access to come to the continental land called America from the ancient pharaohs. You see what I'm saying? And that's how we inhabited this land called America. Our people is originally from, I think, the uh, west coast, the west shores of Africa, east shores of Africa, something like that. I have to go back and look at the proclamation. But Rahm Emanuel, he was on the Obama administration back what, 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 2008 to 2012 or some, some shit like that. When after he was in there for president, these demons, you get my point. These demons, right? They know our true identity, but they can't just tell you, you Hebrews. The, the so-called blacks in America and the so-called Mexicans and all the other indigenous people that was already native to this land. We are Hebrews. When you talk about all the melanated people around the world, Moors, all them big Omec statues and them fucking uh, Easter Island Moors. Why do you think they call it the Easter Island Moors? These are our descendants before us. You see what I'm saying? They're not going to tell you the, the black man in America is Hebrews. That's what you don't get. They're not going to tell you that. They have to give you a fucking hint. The Moors, it's going to throw you off because you like, what the? How the, the identity didn't change. That's your ancestors. You see what I'm saying? Real shit. I'm telling you, this shit is, is deep, man. It's deep. And, um, you see, so that's what I'm saying. These demons, they have to do stuff like that, right? You see, Obama spilled a lot amount of blood. My whole point of bringing Obama up and Ron Emanuel, I went off topic and I was talking about the Hebrews and the Moor thing. I kind of went off topic with that shit. But I'm just trying to make a point to tell you that they can't tell you exactly who you are, but they can give you a hint. They're not going to say, hey, melanated guy, you're a Hebrew. You see what I'm saying? They're not going to tell you that. They're going to give you a hint. Oh, yeah, you're a Moor. And it's going to make you scratch your head. Like, what? You see what I'm saying? So that's the whole point. They have to, they give you evil and they do evil shit. They give you this information. 
but the rules of the universe, the divine laws. People, oh, they say this and all that. Who do you think? Who do you think Satan answers to? Who do you think Satan answers to? I'll wait. They know that. So they have to give truth. That was my whole point of saying that shit. It kind of went off topic. But I was saying that people think that you got to be close to somebody to get blood sacrifice. No. Obama was blood sacrificing people all around the world. Starting wars with people. He was blood sacrificing the melanated people in America. Yes. That's why so many people, so many Hebrews died in America when Obama was president. Because that was his blood sacrifice to save the original man of America. But hey, we're going to leave that one alone. You see what I'm saying? And um, this is what's going on now. You know what I'm saying? These melanated people, our people been getting shot down in the streets. We know this already. But it's happening more rapidly. More rapidly. More rapidly. More rapidly. More rapidly, more consistent, more consistent. Because they have to keep spilling more and more blood to please Satan. They don't please Satan. Satan coming after they have to snatch their soul. So let me tell you what's happening, right? So all this shit that's going on, all this chaos and all these, you know what I'm saying? All these motherfuckers that are from COVID and all that. These are all Satan's people. Shout out to, um, shout out to Tiario. I fuck with T.R. Yo, he be on some real shit. And you know, um, after doing that live stream with uh, Finest Dane Walker, he opened my mind to some new shit too with the whole Bible shit. Like, you know, like that's that's deep. But um, shout out to Finest Dane Walker and shout out to T.R. Yo. T.R. Yo said, uh, he said it, man. He said Satan didn't even see this shit coming. Satan didn't see this shit coming. All the people that's died from this COVID are Satan's people. They have to keep spilling large amounts of blood to please their God, so to speak, right? If you believe in the real most high, nature, mother nature, I'm just, you know, because mother nature is really God. If you want to get technical, I said if you want to get technical, but, um, you know, Yahweh being Yahweh, you know, Jesus Christ, whatever, whatever names y'all want to go by. I know Jesus Christ is not the real name of the creator. I clearly fucking know that. I'm saying that shit because I'm reaching people on a different level. I don't have to even explain that shit. But Jesus, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Buddha, Allah, whatever names you go by, right? Um, we don't have to do that type of evil shit to please the Most High. All we have to do is share and care and, you know, just be one with nature and be one with each other. Help the next person and we please the Creator. But you clearly see that type of stuff's not going on in the world, of course, because, you know, this world is obviously ran by Satan. But who the fuck do you think rented this world to Satan? The Most High, Yahweh being Yahweh. Satan knows his time is up. These satanic demons that worship Satan know their time is up. So they're going to keep trying to spill more and more blood, keep spreading fear to control people. Humans can be controlled with fear and unawareness. Those are the two biggest things that will lower your vibration. When you're on a low vibration, you're damn near not even moving, which is the law of motion. I mean, you're damn near dead, dead, right? So, for example, you know how blood constantly circulating around our body. You know how they say uh, it should take it should take your heart eight seconds. I think it's your heart or just your blood. It should take your blood eight seconds to go from your heart all the way just through your whole body in eight seconds. Your heart's supposed to pump your blood around your body and circulate your blood around your body in eight seconds. That's basically the law of motion. And when people start to die off, their heart starts to slow down and their blood starts to pump slower and slower, meaning that their law of motion is slowing down. You see what I'm saying? So these demonic entities have to keep humans in fear to keep us controlled because they know their time is up. They're going to do whatever they can. They're going to keep covering the sky with chemtrails to get us sick and to kill off as many people as they can to keep trying to drag this shit out. But the second sign is coming back. Yahweh being Yahweh, whatever name you want to go about, Buddha, Jesus Christ, whatever. And 
right now. This is this is judgment, of course. And a lot of these satanic people are being judged, and they've been taken out left and right. A lot of satanic people, well, all the people that died from COVID, and I'm, listen, if you had a relative that passed away from COVID-19, I am sorry. I don't mean to offend you. I don't want to offend you. If you get offended easily, I should have been saying this. Go watch Disney Channel. Watch Cartoon Network. Codename Kids Next Door. That was my shit. But anyway, I don't want to offend you. I'm just telling you the truth. A lot of people that has died from COVID were Satan's people. If you are alive right now, then you play a much bigger role in what the fuck is going on in this world. I mean, that you play a part in this. That's how I look at it. If you're alive right now, you're a key player, a key character in this game called life. You play a central role, whether you know what your role is or not. Remember that shit. If you're alive right now, it's for a reason. You, you are a central character and you play a central role and these revelations, a.k.a. judgment times we are living in right now, wake the damn up. And actually, I do need to go, I need to find me an Old Testament Bible to read it myself. Because an observation that I've been here years ago is in church or whatever, you know, these different places. Or not even in church, you know, because, you know, YouTube is a new TV now. So, you know, you can't get to the church right now because of this whole lockdown shit. So, you know, people was having church and stuff, you know, just on their TV. You know how they be playing. You know how they have the cameras in the church and they show it on TV on Sundays, whatever. So people don't even be reading their Bibles. They let, they just go off what the preacher is saying. You see what I'm saying? That's something I people a long time ago, but I never really said that about it. But um, I had brought it up in that live stream I did with Finest Thing Walker. And it's just like, you think about it. A lot of people just going off what the pastor say. So I need to actually get me an Old Testament Bible and read that shit. I'm actually get me a New Testament and read that shit too. You know what I'm saying? Because the way that uh, Finest Thing broke it down was just like, that shit deep. I ain't think about it like that. They having disinformation agents out here to get you to look and say that, hey, the Bible is fake. It's not real. And I was saying that, I, I was saying that, you see what I'm saying? To he actually, he actually sparked some shit in my mind. You see, I'm not one of those type of people that's like, oh, I can't learn nothing from nobody. I Trust me, you can learn stuff from everybody. But um, some people just got deeper information than others. That doesn't mean that person is better than you or not. Just some people, information is just deeper than others. You know, I'm not one of those closed-minded people. Can be at sometimes, but I can learn from anybody. I can learn from everybody. So... I need to actually go read this shit for myself to see what's going on. You see what I'm saying? Because believe it or not, a lot of people don't want to believe it. A lot of people keep saying, I hope this is the last cycle. Unc L, the 13th son, he breaks it down on a higher level, on a whole different level. This is the 13th cycle. Really, it's the 12th cycle. You're going to the 13th cycle. You, you, you see what I'm saying? It's the 12th cycle. Each cycle is consisted of 26,000 years. Scientists have come out in the past and said humans have, uh, what do you say? Humans, human DNA go back to like 300 something thousand years. So you do the math on that. 12 cycles, 26,000 years. That's about 300 thousand some years some some shit like that nigga something like that you know what i'm saying i'm good at math but not that good with big ass numbers like that but something like that and we're entering into the so-called so-called new age you see what i'm saying well they say the meek will inherit the earth that's the age we we in right now right now it's judgment time that's where all these deaths and stuff is happening people are being judged by Yahweh been Yahweh, the creator. That's why Satan and his minions are getting scared. And like I said before, nature always intervenes. Real shit. So shout out to Yashkara. Shout out to Final Thing Walker. Shout out to TR Hill. Wake the damn up. Mo videos coming soon. Death to all these Nazi criminals. They probably gonna take this shit down. So I'm gonna put it on my Patreon. 
wake the damn up.